All right, we're ready to go whenever you guys are. Hey, this is Ninetales commentating on the round one set between our highest seeded um, participant, Brobear, and the lowest seeded, Achari. And they are going to Gamer. They gentlemaned it in. This is the second time we're seeing Gamer this tournament on stream, even. So, Chari is our resident um, Charizard player, and he's a uh, very strong Charizard. Um, that said, Charizard still struggles in matches against characters like Zero Suit. There's a fairly obvious deficit between how good these two characters are. Now, <laughs> this is interesting. Once again, we've gotten the gamer set up with the non drop through thick platform ceiling area where. Um, all of Zero Suit's normal kill moves just can be teched over and over again and not kill. But uh, Brobear does still manage to pick up, I think that was a back air off of the edge. And Mom's going full on. She caught Chari in the invincibility though from his respawn, so uh, her anger was not, her wrath was not felt, unfortunately. It was seen but not felt. Wow, and Brobear making a daring dash right in front of Mother's eyes. <laughs> straight across the dash attack. Alright. Mom forcing Brobear to roll into, into Chari. That's the kind of thing this stage does. Even even if you want to argue that, that, that things are safe, that kind of randomness can cause those other sorts of like minor things to happen. You know, maybe people are avoiding Mom, but... Um, Oh goodness. Wow! And we get the shield break on Brobear. Whoa, but he, somehow he bounced into the uh, edge and was able to grab it. I didn't even know you could grab the edge while in shield break mode, but um, Chari did pick up a really cool looking spike afterwards anyways. And he's gonna have to get into the shadow there. Thankfully Mom was looking very slowly that time, because we might have seen another shield break. Oh, and um, gets that boost kick on landing. Chari DIs it, manages to live. Charizard's also just such a heavy character. Um, so he's got his rage going for him, and, be and with all his power, he might still be able to pull off a surprise KO if he manages to land something on Brobear that he wasn't expecting. Ooh, manages to avoid the grab. Battling in this area of the stage is good for Chari because it takes away so many of Brobear's kill options, but he still has all his power. You can just kind of catch up on him. Ooh! But the flip kick is going to finish off that stop. Game one goes to Brobear. But, you know, taking a look at the end percents, it was pretty close. And Brobear gives Chari free reign of all stages to select. So we'll see what Chari gets counter big. Chari is obviously very committed to his main, and it's so fun to see people who are like that. His tag is Chari, he only plays Charizard. I don't think I've ever seen him play a character other than Charizard, even in friendlies. So, he's all for Charizard. And it looks like he's going to Lilap. Um, Chari has a lot of uh, opinions on which stages are good for Charizard and which ones aren't. And I have zero understanding of them. So this is an interesting matchup. This is one where um, Game & Watcher's bucket does actually come into play because you can bucket the flamethrower and it fills the bucket pseudo instantly because it's considered, you know, tons and tons of tiny projectiles. Um, so Charlie's going to have to be a little careful to make sure that he doesn't predictably use flamethrower and fill up Game & Watch's bucket. At the same time, Game & Watch is, as has been pointed out many times when Brother picks him, the third lightest character in the game, and very, very susceptible to early deaths from a heavyweight like Charizard. Like, that forward smash could have, you know, been a kill had it hit at 40% at the edge like that. I mean, a charge forward smash, obviously. Alright, so, um, Game & Watch is, uh, going in with some good short hop, well-spaced aerials. The credit card and the turtle. Um, and Chari's at high enough percents now where Game & Watch's down throw combos do not work, so he doesn't get any true combos out of his throws anymore. <laughs> Trying to get an edge guard with the um, the sausages does not pick it up, though. And Chari is still living at 150. Oh, wow. 
but screwed over by Lilat's lip. And that's something that's not supposed to happen as much, but I think that that was a combination of the tilt of the stage in his positioning. Um, obviously, you know, in the latest patch that got fixed a little bit, but I think that because the stage was tilted in the other direction, he didn't travel as far along the lip and wasn't able to make that recovery. So, uh, Brobear's got a pretty big lead. The only thing that you can really make for, um, you can, the only argument you can make at this point is that because uh, Game Watch is so light, he really could just die to a rogue smash attack from Chari at this point. Lilat doesn't have like, like specifically large. Uh, oh wow, Char is really good at getting those Charizard spikes. That's the second one we've seen in this set, and he's gotten them on me plenty of times before. So, um, it's it's fun to see. It's fun to see Charizard winning because I like Charizard too. All right, but he still has his work cut out for him. Game Watch only at two percent. Oh wow, he spot dodges that forward smash really well. And he's managing to hang in there. Oh, oh, but once again, screwed over by Lilat. That was that was poor. That was just unfortunate. I, I, that game went to Lilat more than it went to Bro Bear, honestly. Um, but good game to both players. And uh, we'll be seeing more of them.